little one, are you excited for a fun learning class? We are moving to another interesting topic, which is the process of civil rule in Nigeria. But our main focus will be on formation and registrations of political parties in Nigeria. The formation of political party is the first process of civil rule in Nigeria. What is the meaning of a process? When we are talking of a process, a process means what? A series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. That is what we mean by a process. It's a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Now, the process of a civil rule in Nigeria or a civil rule is refers to the various activities associated with creating a civilian government. That is, when we are talking about the process of a civil rule, it means that what? A various activity that is associated with creating civilian governments. What is the meaning of political party? A political party is defined as a body or group of people who comes together for the purpose of contesting election and gaining control of the government. I want you to take note of the three things. The first one is what? Is a group of people. They come together. And what is the purpose of them coming together? Is to contest an election and what? To gain control of the government. So when you are defining political party, make sure you put these three main points that I want you to make. That is what? A body or group of people who comes together. With, what are the purpose? Why did they come together? To contest an election and to gain control of the government. Now, what is the meaning of political party? So you say a political party is defined as a body or group of people who come together for the purpose of contesting election and gaining control of the government. Formation of political parties in Nigeria. Now let's uh, find out the formation. How did they form the political party in Nigeria? Now the formation of a political party is determined by the types of party system that is practiced in a country. So the formation of a political party is determined by what? By the type of party system that is practiced in a country. There are three types of party system. We have one party system, two party system, multi-party system. So we are going to look at this um, party system one after the other. One party system. What do we mean by one party system? One party system is a is a uh, uh, how would I say it is a system where there is only one registered political party that is legally recognized to participate in an election or in a country. That is just only one party that is allowed that they are going to give what recognition they are going to register that is a legally. Um, to participate in election in a country, which means a one-party system is a system of government where only one political party is permitted. We have good example, China. It's China that uh, practices a country that practices one-party system. Two-party system. Two-party system in the system, there are only two registered and legally uh, recognized political parties that can participate in election in a country. So you can see the difference now. Uh, one party, only one party, two to participate in election in a country. A two-party system is a political party system in which two major political parties consistently dominated political land scale. USA, that's the United States of America, is a very good example of country that practice two-party system. So they only have just two-party system there. Multi-party system. 
multi-party system in this system there are more than two registered parties that are legally recognized and that can be test the elections in a country so you can see now let's go back one party system only one party maybe they will just have um let's say sdp only that party. now super system they are going to have two party system that government recognize let's say we have sdp and apc so these are the two party system now this multi-party system means that you can have more than two parties that government they can recognize and contains for action in a country now we have country good example of countries that have the system. Brazil is a good example. Denmark, Finland, Germany, they are the good example of a country that um, practice um, a multi party system. But over the years, Nigeria has practiced multi and two party system. What is the meaning of the term universal suffrage? I'm sure you must have been hearing uh, the talking about universal suffrage. What does it mean? Now, when we are talking about universal suffrage, it means what? It gives right to vote to all adult citizens, regardless of wealth, gender, social status, race, ethnic seat, or any other restriction. So as long as you are an adult, that is what universal suffrage means. You have the right to vote. You have the right to vote. It's unfortunate that in 1997, the universal um, suffrage call a reality in nigeria when women uh, uh they were allowed for the first time to participate in the election so you can imagine it was in 1997 that the sovereignty uh universal suffrage uh, rights of a woman that is they allowed the women to they were allowed to what to participate in an election so when we are talking about um suffrage we mean that what that is the right of almost all the adults to vote in a political election. Now, the first political party that was established in Nigeria was Nigeria National Democratic Party. You can see it, that is the first political party that was established in Nigeria. This NNDP was founded in Lagos in 1923 by Sir Abbas Macaulay, and the party remained the only party in Nigeria until 1938 when the Nigeria Youth Movement was founded by a group of young uh, Nigeria also from Lagos. So the first political party, in case you are asked this question, the first political party that, um, that was established in Nigeria was the Nigeria National Democratic Party, known as what NNDP. Political parties during the independence. Let's find out the uh, type of party system, the particular uh, the political parties that we have during the independence. Now, the formation of political party during uh, the struggle uh, in the Nigerian independence, we have three major political parties, which is the what they are what NCNC the SG and NPC. Now let me explain it to you. The National Co uh, the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons, that is the NCNC. This party was founded in 1944 and it was renamed the National Convention of Nigeria Citizens in 1960. It controlled the government of the Eastern Region and the Midwest Region up to 1966. Well, the Action Group was founded in 1951 and it controlled the government of the Western region up to 1962. The Northern People's Congress, that is the NPC, was founded in 1951 and it is controlled the government of the Northern region up to 1966. Now, the point I want you to take here is that during the independence, we have three major political parties and they are national councils of nigeria and the cameroons that is ncnc the action group that is ag and the npc northern people's congress political party during the second republic during nigeria second republic from 1979 to 1983 many political associations were formed to contest the election 
and formed the government. Five out of the numerous political associations were registered as a political party, and these were National Party of Nigeria, NPN, Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, Nigerian People's Parties, NPP, People's Redemption Party, PRP, Great Nigerian People's Party, GNPP. These are the five parties that were registered as political parties during the Second Republic. In Nigeria Third Republic, from 1991 to 1993, under General Ibrahim Babangida, only two political parties were registered. They were National Republican Convention, that is the NRC, Social Democratic Party, SD, SDP. Those are the two political parties were registered. Now, during the regime of General Sonin Abasha, from 1993, to 1998, five political parties were registered. We have Committee for National Census, CNC, Democratic Party of Nigeria, DPN, Grassroots Democratic Movement, GDM, National Co Consensual Party of Nigeria, NCPN, United Nigeria Congress Party, UNCP. These are the five register political party under General Sonny Abashe. Nigeria Fourth Republic, which started in 1919, produced several registered political parties. The three major political parties that participated in the 1999 election were, we have the Alliance for Democratics, AD, All People's Parties, APP, People's Democratic Party, PDP. These are the three major parties that participated in 1999 election. However, in the tw in 23, that is 2003 election, 20 political parties participated. By 2007, the numbers of political party had risen to 62. And by 2011, the number of registered political party was 63. In the 2019 elections, 91 political parties participated in the general elections. From time to time, more and more political parties were registered to give Nigerians a greater opportunity to choose their leaders. So we are going to look at some list of registered political parties in Nigeria today. We have ACCORD, which is Akrona A, Action Alliance, AA, Advanced Congress of Democrats, ACD, Alliance Congress Party of Nigeria, ACPA. Alliance for Democracy, AD, Africa Democratic Congress, ADC, African People's Alliance, APA, Hope Progressive Congress, APC, Hope Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, Citizen Popular Party, CPP, Democratic People's Party, DPP, Fresh Democratic Party, Fresh. Hope Democratic Party, HDP, Independent Democratics, ID. These are the list of some political parties in Nigeria today. Let's continue. Koa Party, KP, Labour Party, LP, Mega Progressive People's Party, MPPP, National Conscious Party, NCP, New Nigeria's People's Party, NNPP, People for Democratic Change, PDC, People's Democratic Movement, PDM, People's Democratic Party, PDP, Progressive People Alliance, PPA, People's Party of Nigeria, PPN, Social Democratic Party, 
SDP, United Democratic Party, UDP, Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, United Progressive Party, UPP. So these are some um, registered political parties in Nigeria as today. Wow, that is the hand for today. Thanks for listening. However, travel and religion and regional differences have hindered the foundation or the formation of a truly national Nigerian political parties. Forming a political party in Nigeria is a right of every individual, which involves having an association of members constituent and ready for the proposed party to participate in an election. Also, any individual who intends to run a political office must be a registered member of a political party or can form and register his party. See our next class. Keep learning. Bye.